hey everyone creative venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial as you can see on the screen right now things are flying from here and there and everything is coming onto the screen it is very interesting and beautiful at the same time and i have achieved this kind of style using morph transition in powerpoint so let's see how we can create such effects so first of all you need to insert a rectangle shape and give it a light gray color and then duplicate the same shape and give it one tone darker and so you have this 3d kind of you know steel bar where you can see some kind of shine on the top side of this whole bar you can also see here I have placed a small color palette which I'll be using to create this beautiful infographic. So first of all, insert a parallelogram and so I'm taking some time to adjust its angle and positioning. Uh, you can also do the same to make sure everything looks perfect, everything is aligned. Well, remove its outline, duplicate it rotate it vertically place it below the first parallelogram and you can see this arrow kind of shape here and uh, i've tried to give it a 3d kind of perspective now what we're going to do is apply the first color in the palette on this shape so now the trick here is that for the lower parallelogram we will apply one tone darker color and we will get this realistic kind of 3d effect now one thing is not right here as per the 3d perspective and it is the background so insert a square and give it a darker orange color and send it to back now you can see that this whole steel bar is going between this um, parallelogram shape so that's how we create these 3d kind of effects it's basically a, an illusion to the eyes that it's 3d now duplicate the sh uh, shape here and we will now use the second color from the palette and the process will be same as you know as we did in the first shape now duplicate again to create four such shapes so I'm taking some time here for adjustment and placement and Send it to back, select the background square uh, rectangle and send it to back. Now we need one more here. So in total we will have these five parallelograms. So this whole infographic is uh, all about showcasing uh, five level steps, phases, workflow, anything. You can also use up to four level as well you can remove the fifth one so now we are applying the colors here using the color palette i've downloaded this color palette from google images you can search there for bright color palettes and you will find many options there it is pretty easy to fill the colors in powerpoint all you have to do is select the shape go to fill and select any color you want well i generally prefer gradient colors gradients are my favorites because they give very nice realistic effect and those look much real i think it's all about how light reflects on any shape and gradients help me achieve that kind of shape and light effect 
so yeah i mean however i haven't used gradient in this infographic i'm using solid fill here i hope it is pretty easy to understand what i'm trying to achieve here if you have any questions you can surely let me know in the comment section below now the next step is select all move to center so that everything looks perfect well aligned everything is in the center in the middle so now we have reached here we have achieved something here and this is our infographic now comes part two which is beautification yes we want to make it more appealing more engaging we'll add some information information here so i've added a few icons here icons really help users clearly understand the information now i'm trying to position these icons and i will distribute these icons equally so they're well aligned and i've aligned them in the middle now let's insert text box here and write percentage for example the first product achieved 65 percent of the targets so we can mention here sales information regarding five products now we will increase the size of 60 change the font font to agency fp and change the color to white and apply the same style on all the shapes so we have our infographic almost ready now we will insert a nice background here so insert a square shape rectangle shape remove its outline send to back and apply gradient we will only keep two gradient stops gray on one and some dark gray on the second stop change the gradient to radial change to center and we have our background ready and this background is very realistic and well it really uh, enhances the look of this infographic so now the next step here is to insert some text information regarding the 60 percent so we will have one headline and one small description in open sans light font this is a free google font you can download it from google fonts so from here on the journey is very simple and i assume that for you it would be pretty easy here to write text and then some small description below it you can adjust the fonts as per your requirement you want to increase the font size so definitely go ahead and increase the size so we will copy the same information in all the shapes here because we don't have any information to present so we are writing dummy text i'm taking some time here to position the text here and you should also do the same while creating the presentation take your time make sure everything is well aligned and everything has a, has some meaning now change the font color to to dark gray here and duplicate the text throughout the shapes and once everything is in place then change the text now we have selected the lower parallelograms and applied the reflection effect you can adjust the size the blurness the distance the transparency so it's totally up to you you can experiment here and give your best shot make sure the reflection looks more realistic so a very light and blurry reflection always look good here 
so we have our infographic ready now I think we should give it some kind of heading it's a pretty simple job so you have to write the text the title of the slide and what I'm gonna do here is I will apply the gradient text color here and this will look much different than and much beautiful than the regular solid color text so as you can see on the screen right now I've applied the gradient color so I'm using here using here three stops gradient and I'm using the same colors which are present in the parallelograms below so now comes the morph transitions part so everything is ready now everything is in place so here we have our final slide let's duplicate this slide click on the first slide and what we will do here is we will remove all these elements in the first slide and again duplicate it oops I have done a mistake here duplicate the slide select these two items from the second slide now what you have to do is go to first slide paste it and move these two items away from the slide you can keep these uh, out of the slide area so that what happens when we will apply morph transition on all these slides and in the slideshow mode the text will beautifully animate from right to left you have to place everything in the morph transition at the origin point from where you want to start the effect and on the next slide you have to keep those item at the point where you want them to end their animation so now I, so now i think you got the clear idea like how to create morph animation it's all about placing the items place the items at the origin in previous slide and on the next slide where you want the item to end its animation it's as simple as that it's all about morph transition that i can tell you in simple language so here we have removed everything we have only kept the first shape and moved it towards the right and let's see the whole animation from starting what we have achieved till now and look at it it's coming beautifully from right to left so similarly again we will apply the morph transition so duplicate the slide remove now next three items and in the let's copy this second shape and in the previous slide we will place the items in such a way that when the slideshow will happen these items will animate and move from their origin to the end point on the fifth slide so let's place the items throughout the slide area outside of the slide area now what will happen is in the fifth slide these items will club together and create a shape so this is how I achieve morph transitions so you can follow these steps to create the same effect on all the slides on all the shapes so I believe it is pretty easy to understand and if you have any doubt any question you can search Google let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so I will definitely try to answer and I'll do my best 
to make sure you understand this morph technique so look what i'm doing here i'm spreading the information here and there we're breaking the shape the parallelograms the text and what will happen is on the next slide they will all join together to create one single shape so this is the beauty of morph transition so let's see our final animation here so i hope you like this idea you like this infographic you like my efforts so please support by subscribing to our channel by liking this video and letting me know your thoughts in the comment section below also i've started the excel series as well so make sure to watch that as well and it will help you understand creativity from the excel point of view so i hope you like this video so thanks for watching have a great day and bye bye